Hi. Um, I want to talk about something that's really important to me today, which is LGBT rights, specifically LGBT rights in the Middle East. Um, the main case being that they don't have many. Um, LGBT rights in the Middle East are very few and far between, and being openly part of the LGBT community in the Middle East is extremely dangerous because people in that community, they face violence, stalking, harassment, being drugged, sexual assault and rape, and all these things are extremely common there. It's not like one or two scenarios. And being openly gay, bisexual, transgender in the Middle East is an extremely brave thing to do because in countries such as Egypt, men and women of the LGBT community have been locked in taxi cabs, they've been sodomized by police officers, and they've been persecuted when they went to report their rapes because they get charged with debauchery, aka premarital sex. Now, being queer in the Middle East a lot of times can be considered a perversion, such as pedophilia or bestiality. So a lot of times the law will not believe that an LGBT person is even capable of being raped because they see it as like, these people, they're going out every day, they're actively seeking to do all these perverted things. So, you know, they can't, you can't rape the law, it was their idea. So because of that, um, they become a very easy target for people who are homophobic, people who want to commit hate crimes, because these people, their abusers, they know that they will not have any personal responsibility for what they do. If they decide to rape someone of the LGBT community, they know that that person cannot report it or else they themselves will face persecution. So it, it becomes a bit of a vicious cycle because the law doesn't do anything about it, which causes more violence, which causes law to not do anything about it, and so on and so forth. And there are a few activists in the Middle East who are very brave and they they go out and they fight for the cause and they themselves put themselves in a lot of danger because of what they do and they do it for a really good cause and I think that a lot of politicians there who are not against gay marriage don't speak out about it because of the big taboo around it they don't want to be put in danger themselves but I think by doing that they're doing a great disservice to the people of their countries because these politicians, they have a lot more protection than the civilian activists who are out fighting for their cause. And I think these politicians owe it to those activists who are putting themselves in danger to stand up for them and to be an ally to them. And that's what I think the people there can do. And what I personally wanted to do is I can't do much from over here. But I did want to share a few resources today for anyone who might be watching this who is in the Middle East and, you know, part of the LGBT community or kind of just struggling with their own, like, idea of what they might be. And I want to share a couple of resources which were a few chat rooms for people in the Middle East who are LGBT and it's kind of like a support system. And also I wanted to share a website which allows you to safely by contraceptive, birth control, morning after pill, all that stuff, and it comes straight to your house, no questions asked, nothing. So it's a very safe way to buy contraception without like even being judged, you know? Um, so yeah, um, I would really like to hear what other people have to say about this because I've noticed this is not a topic that is talked about often outside of the Middle East. So if anyone has like anything they want to say about it, I'd love to hear. And I'd love to know your own personal issues, or if you have a story you want to share, I'd love to hear that. And hopefully I can do this again soon. Okay, bye.